So today's noir vember title was actually sort of a proto noir silent film because they exist. There's several. Um, I would include something like uh, Joseph von Sternberg's The Docks of New York as very much leading into the gangster genre that led into um, noir. But in this case, it was a Japanese silent proto-noir gangster film because, you know, got to throw it all in there. And um, this is from uh, one of the most famous Japanese directors, Yashi Yashihiro Ozu, um, mostly known for his post-war films in the 50s and 60s, early 60s. Uh, but he started his career in the silent era, and he was a camera operator for a long time before making his own films in the silent era. And then in Japan, as I've said before, the silent era went through the mid-30s. So this film's from 1933, but it is firmly a silent film and is a um, gangster picture similar to many, many, many of the pre-code Warner Brothers gangster pictures, but also including um, aspects of, of sort of things that you wouldn't see in those early gangster pictures that you would definitely see in later noirs, um, including um, blinds. And several other things where I was like, wait a minute, what? Uh, so I really, I really enjoyed this. Um, if you if you want to know some more uh, historical context around the film, 100% Google um, Dragnet Girl Eddie Muller and read Eddie's uh, essay that he wrote for the San Francisco Silent Film Festival, and you'll learn so much. Um, little known fact about Eddie is he, unless you live in the Bay Area, he um, knows a lot about silent film as well as noir and um, has interviewed or has introduced and written about many silent films for the San Francisco Silent Film Festival over the years. Um, and if you ever get a chance to see him introduce a silent film, it's 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 worth it. Um, so the film stars actress um, can you can you can you Tanaka, who was in a ton of films. Um, I've seen a few of hers in my recent Japanese binge. She was in lots and lots of things. She was also the second, um, the se only the second uh, female director in J Japanese history. She directed, I think, five films, um, starting with 1953's Love Letter. Six films. Wait, I can't. Count. Yeah, six films. Um, from 1953 to 1962. I can't track them down, and I'm real bummed. I want to see the films that she directed. Um, but she was also in movies from movies and television from 1929 all the way through 1976, and she made over 250 films. That's a lot of movies. Um, she's just a very talented person, um, and most of her films that she made were with Mizuguchi, um, making 15 films with him. Uh, so, the film stars uh, Tanaka as Takiko, a typist who's the girlfriend of a small town gangster named Joji. Um, Joji a gang gets a new member, Hiroshi, who also has a older sister that Joji starts falling in love with, much to to Tokiko's uh, chagrin. However, when she goes to meet the girl, she also falls under her spell. And there's this very, very not coded at all sexual tension between these two women. And it was fantastic. It was fantastic. Um, it's in the dialogue, too. Like, she's like, oh, I see why you fell for her. I fell for her. It's fine. Um, it's lovely. So um, Hiroshi steals some money, and he's not a very good thief. And so Tokiko and Joji try to help him out of it. However, that includes them stealing even more money. And so they end up in worse trouble than when they were just doing regular gangster stuff. And obviously this is not going to end well because this is a noir and it's a lovers on the run noir. Um, there's also a washed up boxer and a wannabe boxer. So you've got like all kinds of levels of things that uh, you see in later noirs. Lovers on the run, um, stolen money, Good girl, bad girl, good, bad girl, trying to become a good girl, all kinds of things, um, all in this 140 minute, 140 minute, no, hour and 40 minute um, silent gangster picture. Uh, the thing to remember, and this is what I try to do um, anytime, is to contextualize 
uh, where films came from and where they're going to. And uh, for Noir Vember, for the last many years, this is the ninth year I've been doing this, I've mostly watched American Noir from the era, the, you know, 1940, 1958. And in the last few years, I've been really spreading it out and watching um, foreign neo-noirs and some of these earlier things, even though I've seen a lot of the Warner Brothers gangster pictures, but seeing a lot of things that were um, integral to the creation of the mood and era and feel of, of American, you know, mid-century noir, is important because film is does not is not created in a vacuum, and you need all of this contextualization to really understand uh, what you're watching. And so I find I find watching these things that, that led to other things uh, very uh, just inspiring and fulfilling. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention about this film, what was it? Uh, it was there was the boxing. Oh God, there was one other aspect of it I wanted to mention. Where did it go? I don't remember. It's gone. Um, well, it's on an Eclipse series from Criterion. It's the silent, they have several silent Ozu Eclipse series, and this is the crime film Eclipse series. It's like Eclipse number 42, I think. It's also on the Criterion channel for right now until, obviously, the 29th, so you can catch, catch it. Then, um, I cannot for the life of me remember the other thing I wanted to say about this film. It's gone. Um, but I really enjoyed it, and you should definitely check it out if you get a chance. Um, there's just so much, so much good stuff. I'm overwhelmed all the time. Um, but Noir Vember, it's fantastic. Also, a reminder, if you're in Atlanta and you're watching this before November 6th, 2018, I will be presenting um, Stanley Kubrick's The Killing at the Plaza Theater. And on November 13th at 7 p.m. at the Plaza Theater, I'll be presenting Otto Preminger's Laura, which is my favorite film noir. And then... On uh, November 20th at 7 p.m., I will be presenting Marco Cortese's Mildred Pierce with my girl, Joan Crawford. Um, come and check those out. It'll be fantastic. Hope you're having a good November.